Hello and today I'm going to be taking a look at Ninjago Masters of Spin Jitsu Lego set number 2516. I picked this up for £6 so let's get it open and see if it's worth the cash. Okay so here is the instruction manual, it does feel quite thin, same design that we've seen on the front of the box and the win on the background. Then if we go on to the ninja first, I can't remember any of the characters names from this series unfortunately so he is just going to be the black ninja does look quite nice, it's the same standard mask that we've seen, we'll see with most of these. Um, a nice design on the front though, nice ninja looking tunic he seems to have on there. On the back here, he does have a bow and arrow which does clip onto the back of his mask, which is quite nice to have that there, it does connect. But unfortunately there is no other design on the back of the ninja himself. Turning round, he just has quite a serious face, no alternative head unfortunately, but when you put his helmet on, does look the part, you can see the eyes through and it does look like a little Lego ninja. Hoya! On to the next thing, it comes with this kind of target. Um, it just lays down and you can fold it up and down. But it's quite a nice piece, it does look like a uh, target to aim at. Um, but other than that it doesn't really do anything else. And then it comes to the weapons display stand. I quite like the look of this. It does come with like a little Chinese lantern that's on the top. It can be moved around to different positions. I think that looks nice indeed. Then it comes with a little tiny mini scorpion on there. I'm not sure if that actually plays any part in the film itself or the series. Then we have a nice spear. I think we have seen them in a few different designs before. And then it comes with a ninja sword. I'm not sure if they're all called katanas, if it is a katana. But it's still nice enough. The handle is detailed. So that's a nice touch. And then on to two little daggers that you can see placed here and here. And then a small plant on the bottom and a barrel. I'm not sure why the barrel's there, but it is. And then also we have this random pipe sticking out the side. So maybe it's to connect different sets of these together. Um, and it makes like four pillars or posts because there is a hollow here so I'd imagine that might be what it's for but you can't take it out so it just looks a bit odd on a kit on its own so thanks for watching don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time for more Raw Pain reviews What's up?